everybody ho friends it's Michelle and today I have a little different video for you today it is centered around pink zebra and if you haven't heard me talk about pink zebra I have mentioned it a few times in the last month uh, went, we went to a very large flea market on our vacation and ran into several independent consultants with pink Z, the pink zebra company um, which is another direct selling company focused around fragranced wax. And I love all wax, so I could not help myself uh, but to buy some of their wax while I was there and have ordered a few since then. And they have a monthly mystery subscription package that you can subscribe to and that's $34 a month. It usually ships around the 25th of the month, but it also usually includes the following month's Paisley pick, which is the pink zebra's name is Paisley, and she picks a scent every month that's exclusive to that month, if that sounds familiar to you. Um, so I figured in getting this subscription, and they are also soon to be transitioning from spring summer catalog to a fall winter catalog, I thought now would be a good time to give it a try, maybe get some samples of some scents that will be in the upcoming fall winter catalog. And sure enough, that's what was in this one. Um, I, I don't have the box any longer of that these actually came in. It looked like this, but it was about half the size probably. And <clears throat> why it was so large, normally there's, I believe, from what I've seen online is in a large padded envelope but this one was in a box you know square box I don't know maybe six inches six by six inches um, it had very well wrapped in bubble wrap a jar and I thought what in the world are they giving me a jar for it has a little handle it's a cute jar don't get me wrong and then I see wicks. I've already taken the paper out once, but they sent wicks. So inside the wicks is a piece of paper that says Glimmer Candle Directions. Uh, place wick and trim is step one. Pour in sprinkles is step two. And step three is light and enjoy. So they apparently promote making your own candles with their wax. Um, as you know though, I don't burn candles. Even though I buy candles, I use candle lamps and candle um, crocs. So I won't be using the wicks to you <laughs> for this wax, but I will definitely be enjoying the wax. Let's go ahead and go through that because it's kind of a peek into the future for Pink Zebra on not only the scents, but packaging. So first I have Rainbow Cookies and this is Paisley's pick for this month. And oh, I guess I should have shown you the, it came with two pieces of paper in it. The first paper is summer surprises and it says that there's the blue class glimmer candle with wire handle and then the rainbow cookie sample and then it's a list of all the other samples and content in it and the other side is just in another language and then now back to rainbow cookies you may have seen if you saw my weekly win weekly wax meltdown on when this past Wednesday you already saw me talk about what I feel about the, <laughs> what I feel about this scent but it does talk about um, there's Paisley Paisley is the pink zebra Paisley's pick is rainbow cookies and then it goes into a little story about that scent of exclusive scent for the month it says, I visited my good friend Anne Marie in New York. She grew up in an Italian household, so every day was a holiday. We had fun baking her mom's famous rainbow cookies. 
sugary vanilla almond cookie cake layered with sweet raspberry jam and topped with a light chocolate drizzle. Anne Marie enjoys baking with her mom and told me, my mom has given me so many memories to last a lifetime and to share with my kids and that's the best memory I could ever ask for. Love Paisley. So that's her story and the scent description basically. Uh, sugar vanilla almond cookie cake layered with sweet raspberry jam topped with a light chocolate drizzle. So from to me, <clears throat> to my nose, rainbow cookies is a very yummy, almost red velvet type of scent. It, red velvet with a little added raspberry like jam in it is what I got and it's good. I've already ordered a few little extra to come my way of this scent already so um, you'll be seeing more of it in the future and then it also this same piece of paper also says blend rainbow cookies with fragrances from each category from the botanical gardens category try it with tropical infusion in the farm to market category mix it with black cherry in the romantic and exotic category try it with vanilla vibes and you get the idea so they are big into the blending their scents as well not only that but the company is suggesting some to blend with and it says host a party this month to earn exclusive products in this fragrance <clears throat> so that's that scent and then the others we'll get into I have not warmed any of these other scents, but we will go through them. White Oak Orchid. This is Vanilla Orchid, Creamy White Oak, and Soft Amber. I'm trying to get where you can see that. And this is a really nice vanilla kind of floral scent. I would say more floral than it is vanilla. Uh, and I, I, I do get a little of that amber and a little oak. But I would definitely put this to my nose. This would definitely go in like a floral category. And this is not in their current catalog. So must be a scent in the fall winter catalog. Next is Mountain Air. It says crisp breeze, lavender, and eucalyptus leaf. You can also see the color of the sprinkles in there. And I do like this one. It's one of those fresh scents that I usually am gravitate toward. Yeah, it's kind of an ocean breeze type of scent with a little bit of lavender and a little bit of eucalyptus. Very nice. I will probably really like this one because I love all of that. Fresh lavender and eucalyptus. And then we've got classic patchouli, which is, I'm guessing, patchouli, smooth wood, amber winds. Um, I'm not a big patchouli person, so this is not my thing, but if you love patchouli, I'm sure you will like this. It is not a super dirty patchouli, which is, I think, why I usually tend not to like patchouli, but this is not like a super dirty, earthy patchouli. It does seem like it might be a lighter scent actually too. Now I've got Manly Man, Watery Musk, White Iris, and Moss Woods. Watery Musk, White Iris, Moss Woods. Well, I feel like I've smelled something very similar to this. I 
can't place it. But it's definitely like a man cologne scent. Yeah, only a manly cologne scent. A little bit of kind of an aquatic note in there. And French toast, which is warm vanilla, sweet cinnamon, and brown sugar. And I remember from smelling this before, the cinnamon was not super overwhelming. Yeah, at least on cold, the cinnamon is not like super overwhelming. I get like a bready note. I get like a bread note with kind of a creamy vanilla, almost like an egg batter vanilla, baked cinnamon, and brown sugar. Yeah. So, who knows? I might like that one. If the cinnamon gets really strong, though, if you know me, I'm not going to like it if that cinnamon gets too strong. And then the last one, and this is equivalent to one of their jar sizes. It is a net weight of 3.75 ounces. It is in snowberry, sugared berry, juicy plum, and vanilla sugar. And if you'll notice, so this is basically equivalent to jars. And I had kind of wondered what made them decide to go with glass jars for their smaller size. Um, and now, especially with what's going on in the world, I mean, there's constant shortages of glass. Um, anyway, there's been a little teaser, I think, that they are going to have a different container for their jars, and this is what came in the monthly subscription box, and it even, I put tape over it, but there's even a little hole on the front and the back that says, give me a sniff. I put a little piece of tape over it just to hold the scent in, but anyway, as far as the scent, it's what it says it is. It's sugared berry, plum, and vanilla sugar. And if you're thinking this is anything similar to Scentsy Snowberry, it's not. It's exactly what it says it is. It's a, sh a sweet berry, definite sweet. You can smell that sugar um, with plum and vanilla sugar. It's good, it's gonna be a sweet berry, but it's almost like you can smell the sugar and you can smell the berry and the plum separately, you know? Anyway, yeah, I like that one. I will probably be warming it here pretty soon and we'll let you know in my weekly wax meltdown. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and be sure to subscribe if you haven't that 500 subscriber mark is getting closer, but it still seems so far away. I cannot use that community tab in YouTube until I hit that 500 subscriber mark. So help me get there by subscribing, and it will also help you know when I post a new video, I'll show in your subscription feed. And if you even want, you can do the little notification bell and you will get notifications when I upload new um, videos. But for sure, I always have a video for you on Wednesday, my weekly wax meltdown, going through what I have melted in the last week, and I give you my thoughts. And then usually something Scentsy related on Saturday as well, and then random things maybe during the week too. <laughs> so be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.